Hey everyone, Mark here with Promevo TV, and today we're looking at how you can add Google Drive storage for users in your domain. Let's dive in. First, we'll begin by navigating to the Google Admin Console. Your Admin Console might look a little different than what is on screen depending on the applications you have installed. Next, click on the Billing icon to open a contextual overview page based on the current subscriptions under your domain. From here, scroll until you see Google Drive Storage. Please note, if this is your first time adding drive storage to users in your domain, you might see an alert to quote, contact reseller to modify order. If so, just reach out to our dedicated support team at Promevo to help enable the function on the user end. Our support team's contact information will be provided in the additional information section of the video below. Once the feature is enabled, you will see an actions option appear within the Google Drive storage section. Clicking this will open a drop-down menu. Select Manage Licenses to continue. From here, you will see an overview of the amount of Google Drive licenses currently in use under the domain, separated by varying storage sizes. You also have the ability to auto-assign all currently unassigned users and subsequent new users a specific amount of additional drive storage, as well as upload a CSV file if you'd like to bulk assign licenses to specific users. Before we get into adding any storage, we're going to go ahead and put up a pricing guide detailing costs for additional storage licenses, so get ready to pause. To assign new drive storage licenses to users with only the default drive storage limit, click on the Unassigned Users tab shown here on screen. From this page, you can search for users with the help of a search box above, or by browsing the full user list sorted alphabetically by first name. Using the checkboxes, select the user or users that you'd like to add additional storage to, and click on the Assign icon to open a drop-down menu. Please note that you can only select one type of storage size at a time when adding multiple licenses at once. Once the storage size is selected from the drop-down menu, a pop-up will appear asking you if you'd like to confirm the additional drive storage. If everything looks correct, click Assign License to continue. You will not be immediately billed for these licenses up front, as these charges will be applied to your following month's billing statement. It's also incredibly important to note that the additional storage will take a few hours to populate to the accounts that they were assigned to. If you'd like to either unassign drive storage licenses that are currently in use under your domain or add additional licenses to users with current licenses, click on the Assigned Users tab shown here on screen. This will give you an overview of the users in your domain that currently have drive storage licenses. Like our previous menu, you can locate users with the help of the search bar above or by browsing the entire list. After selecting your user or users, you have one of two options. To unassign storage licenses, click the unassign icon located beneath the search bar with at least one user selected. This will remove any storage licenses currently applied to that user. Please note that this license cannot be reassigned to another user and there will not be a pop-up confirming the license removal. So our pro tip is to double check your user selection before clicking unassign. If you'd like to add additional storage licenses to users with existing licenses, just simply select the user or users from your list and click on the assign icon to open a drop-down menu. From here, select the storage license of your choosing and a pop-up confirmation window will appear. Once again, the cost of additional drive storage licenses will appear on your following month's statement. And there you have it folks, that's how easy it is to add additional drive storage to any user in your domain. Make Promevo your holistic solution for all things Google today, and thanks so much for watching.